Clay Thompson will miss the upcoming NBA season. We all, you know, hope that things move in, in the right direction. So Draymond, this Warriors team has been a trip. You guys have had some really high highs so far this season. You've had some low lows. Now that we're more than a quarter of the way through, who is this Warriors team to you? This Warriors team still doesn't have an identity. We've kind of seen glimpses of who this team can be. We've shown at times where, you know, we can move the ball and get great shots on offense and the offense look great. I think we have saw the offense look like an elementary school was playing. Same goes for defense. You know, I think we've shown some glimpses of who we can be, but this team does not have an identity yet. Of course, the biggest thing affecting the league this year is coronavirus. You tested positive for COVID during training camp. What was it like for you to deal with that? Everyone dealing with COVID has sucked. Um, the, this season, quite frankly, has sucked due to COVID. Our lives kind of has sucked due to COVID. Most importantly, the lives that have been affected by COVID and how many people have lost loved ones. I don't really know what else to say about it. It sucks. You're about to play the Mavericks. What is the challenge of defending Luka Doncic? As a defender, your only goal is to make a guy do something that he don't want to do. And if you can do that on the defensive end, more often than not, you're going to be successful. With Luka, you, you kind of can't make him do what you want him to do. I think he made a statement maybe last year where he said, uh, it's easier for me to score in the NBA than it was for me to score in Europe. And everybody went crazy, like, how disrespectful is he? He's shown that that's true. <laughs> Over here, James. James. Over here. You can catch that ball right there and make play. I didn't see it. But you didn't see it. That's my point. Always see the ball. You've also become a real mentor to James Wiseman. And of course, he's out right now with the sprained wrist. But he's the number two overall pick. His development is really important to the organization. And you haven't just been there. You have been vocal Draymond being there. The only thing I, I'll ever get upset about is if he isn't aggressive enough. You know, when I am yelling at him, he don't even realize he isn't being aggressive. The things I've got, I've had the most fun with this season is just trying to show him the way. Because it's a very rewarding feeling when you see him start to do things right and start to turn that corner. Clay Thompson said he's really glad to hear you yelling at Wiseman because it's a break from you yelling at him for the past 10 years. The reality is, I don't think people realize it. For years, Clay and I, we were the young guys on the team. And so the only guy I really could yell at was Clay. No one else would listen to me. Everybody else was way older than us. So that was the only guy I could yell at. There's a few more guys I can yell at now. And now Clay's the old guy. Can't yell at him anymore. What's going on over there, Clay? Rodney Magruder. Oh, no, this dude might be out the league soon. He's probably mad about that. Who knows? Wow. Shots fired. <laughs> He's over here checking my guy. You guys had an interesting ending to a game earlier this week. Rodney Magruder had some things to say, came over toward the Warriors tunnel. Clay Thompson had some things to say on the broadcast because he happened to be on the headsets at the time. And then you were very vocal in the post-game press conference. When the f Rodney Magruder become the tough guy of the team? I don't know, man. There's too many tough guys in this league these days for me. But I know ain't nobody scared of no damn Rodney Magruder. Now that you've had a minute, to calm down. How do you feel about what happened? I still feel the same way I felt after the game. When I say something, I mean it. I meant everything I said that night. There's no comments that will ever be made from me that I won't stand by. The one-time darlings are now a dynasty. You guys went through a run where you won three titles in five years. You were just automatically in championship contention. Then you go through a really tough injury year with everybody getting hurt besides you basically last year. Another year this season where you guys are trying to put the pieces back together. If you guys do get back to an NBA Finals, win another title, will it be different than the earlier ones because of the road you're now going through to try to get there? I think it'll 100% be different. When you see the other side of things, it gives you a different appreciation for getting to the finals, for winning championships, for being a contender. It kind of gives you a different appreciation. And I do look forward to getting back. Everybody thinks it's kind of the end of us. We're not done yet. We'll be back.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.